If you've tried the AutoDark theme origin trial, there's a new way to opt out on a per element level. There's now support for Color V1, an evolution of the Color V0 font format, and there's plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 98. In Chrome 96, we started an origin trial for auto dark themes on Android. With this feature, if your site is light themed and the user's OS is in dark mode, the browser applies an automatically generated dark theme to your site. If you want to opt out of the automatically generated dark theme, you can use a meta tag, or you can opt out by setting color scheme only light on the root element. But the main advantage of using that is that you can opt out on a per element basis. Andre has a great article with all the details on developer.chrome.com. In Chrome 98, there's now support for Color V1, an evolution of the Color V0 format. It adds gradients, compositing and blending, and improved shape reuse for crisp and compact font files that compress well. A color font makes visual highlights, headlines, and banners really just pop. But one of my favorite use cases for Color V1 means consistent emojis across platforms. You don't need to replace emojis with image files because smaller font files are easier to include on your page. We're working on ways to improve feature detection since this is not super easy to use yet, but it's something to keep an eye on. Check out the article on web.dev for more examples and how you can create your own fonts. Of course, there's plenty more. Core's preflight requests are now sent ahead of private network requests for subresources, asking explicit permission from the target server. There's a new origin trial for region capture, an API for cropping of self-capture video tracks, ideal for screen sharing in video conferencing apps so that you don't create that hall of mirrors effect. And finally, don't forget, in just a few months, we'll hit Chrome 100, a three-digit version number. Any code that checks version numbers or parses the UA string should be checked to make sure that it handles three digits. The force major version to 100 flag will change the current version number to 100 so that you can make sure everything works as expected. All the details, including links, docs, and specs are in the updates post linked in the description. Hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss any of the latest Chrome DevTools videos, designing in the browser, and more. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 99 is released, be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.